Hey everybody, I'm Adam. I'm Michael. And today, we're going to be discussing Deadpool 2 because we're bored in Ohio. doesn't like how I say that now. Why? I don't know. She says I, I think I'm trying to sound too serious or something. No. I don't know. You sound just as serious as you are about basically anything, which is nothing. So. <laughs> You're never serious about anything. Um, we did not have an episode last week. I will make note that was because my grandma passed away. Not to bring everybody down. But... One of her favorite phrases, I think, would best describe the character of which movie we're going to review today, Deadpool. She would have called him a shit ass. So. Shit, really? Yeah. Is that a, is that a compliment? No. No, no, okay, well. It would, it would always in cards. If I did something she didn't like, be like, oh, you shit ass. <laughs> So it's an endearing because yes, you're a grandson. It's one of my favorite things that uh, she did. But Deadpool 2. Um, I think we should roll with this the same way we did Infinity War, where we do half and half. Okay. Yeah. First half, we're just going to talk in general what we felt about the movie. I don't know what Mike's opinion is. He doesn't know what mine is. And then halfway, we can get into spoiler territory. Yeah. And we'll warn you. So if you haven't seen it, you can stop there, or if you have seen it, you can keep going and see if you agree with some There's shit we said. Not a lot of people that haven't seen it. Like, I think they made what 126 million in the last two days. It was this weekend, but today's it, not over. Yeah, I know it's I, projected. I don't, I don't like it when they say that. Yeah, it's not projected to make as much as the first one did in its first weekend, but it had mm. the highest opening Friday ever for a rated R film. That's awesome. Yeah, I want them to keep doing that. <laughs> Forever and forever ever and ever. So, so you, I've I've you, seen it you twice. Start, yeah, you saw it twice. So that it could either mean it's really good, or just because your wife said she wanted to see it and you had seen it without her. So, I I love it because I love Ryan Reynolds and I and I love the character, but I I really like the movie a lot. I definitely would tell anyone to go see it. But it's not as good as the first. It's not as good as the first. Yeah. Did you feel that way? Yeah. Now, I will say the, and this is not spoiling anything, but definitely stay after the credits because oh yeah, those are the, the best after credits scenes of any film, of any film ever. They're um, it is amazing. <laughs> that in, if I, if you would include that as part of the film, I think you you have to. But because they, some but of it makes affects me, the. I mean, oh no, it, yes, stuff it does. in the film, and we'll get into that. Yeah. Which, I, <laughs> Kara, Kara didn't like this one as much either yeah. as the first one. But I still, still loved liked it. it. I, st- I still like, you know, very much, but. Um, I think part of the problem is, like, the first one caught everybody off guard. Like, especially people who are not familiar with that character. Yeah. So, more of the same, you usually bank on that as being, you know, that'll get you, get you there. But in terms of this movie... Some of the jokes being very similar. I was like, ah, we've kind of been here before. Yeah. But that didn't lessen my enjoyment overall by any means. No, it didn't mine either. Um, My biggest problem with the movie and why I probably didn't like it as much as the first is they're trying to shoehorn Deadpool into a character that does the right thing. Right. And that is not Deadpool. But I did like that Cable pointed out at one point in the film that he's, he told him flat out, you're not a good guy. No, like, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Because, um, yeah, the whole plot line with him, like, saving the kid, and that's in the trailer, so that's not a spoiler at all. It's like, come on. I don't know. Like, even the first one, even though it was a pretty cheesy standard hero, like, storyline, um his whole arc was because of vanity. Like he, he didn't, he's like, I don't look good anymore. So she's not going to want to fuck me. It's yeah. basically <laughs> his, his motivation for the movie. 
<laughs> it wasn't like a greater like, oh, I got to save this kid because it's a kid. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, well, you know what, though? It, that, that one scene, um, I'm trying to say this unspoilery, when he first meets the kid. Yeah. Okay. They do kind of show that uh, because right right after, you know, he helps him or helps the people around him, they they do show that once he talks to the kid and, and the kid says what's been going on with mm-hmm. him, that he thinks that's fucking wrong. You don't do that to kids. Yeah. And he made comments a bunch of times to Cable about, you know, shit, how, does it show in the trailer that... Yeah, oh, it does in the trailer. It shows that Cable's going after that kid. Yes. I forgot. So he even says to Cable several times, why the fuck are you trying to kill a 14? He's a 14-year-old kid. Yeah. So he, I, they they kind of said it that he thinks it's wrong because it's a kid. Mm-hmm. But, but I agree with you completely. It's kind of off character for him to give yeah. that much of a shit. I would rather just see the character Deadpool just thrown in a situation. Like Kara actually pointed this out. She's like, I thought like uh, Cable was just going to be the bad guy. And uh, Deadpool was gonna make this whole X Force thing, and they were just gonna like fight and make jokes. Like that's all she wanted. Like really? they didn't didn't need this extra plot about saving a kid. Like she just was just ready for like jokes. But and she knew nothing the about action. about Cable's character, right? No, so, and since she actually I did, liked Cable a lot. Oh, I liked. I thought Roland did. All great. Roland's fantastic. Yeah, he looked great too. Yeah, that dude fucking got yeah. ripped. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> at his age. I'm impressed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Although I'm sure they're all doing HGH together, like shooting up in like, each other's like, butts. Like Stallone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Stallone. Dude. Right. Well, isn't it when he shot that fucking Rambo movie? The like, Rambo movie. And there was a raid. The yeah, he's throwing out the... Oh. <laughs> they were throwing the fucking uh, HGH out the window and flushing yeah. it down the toilet. I mean, here's the thing. How do they not die at their age? How does their heart know. not explode? They, they tell you not to do that shit when you're in your 20s because you can have a fucking heart attack when you're in your 20s and people have. How in the fuck are these 60 and 70 year old people not dying from this shit? I have no idea. Because now you and I need to start doing it. Shit, yeah. Let's get fucking ripped. Let's do it. And you'll really be like fucking flashing that chest tattoo you got working now. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like that you're wearing a Deadpool shirt, by the way. I did that for you. I honestly, I did. Yeah. I I'm didn't gonna, wear it to the theater. I'm going to take promo images of you for our Instagram. Be like, look at this guy. He's all in. <laughs> <laughs> I am all in. <laughs> I mean, are you going um, to buy the film? Yeah, I would buy the I film. Have to, I have to, yeah. Here's here's an interesting question I have for you. Uh-huh. Which do you think is a better film, this or Infinity War? Oh, God. Like, if you had to recommend one or the other to watch, if you're, like, somebody was going to the theater, which they would you recommend? Choose. I can't believe I'm saying this. I would recommend Infinity War. Just I, I agree. Just Brolin in that, as Thanos in that film, mm-hmm. just did it all for me. Yeah. And it's... I would. I want to see it again just to see him acting in it again. Yeah, which is funny because before this movie, uh, Sicario. Have you ever seen Sicario? I haven't yet. It's. I've been it's, meaning it to. Is so good, and he's mm-hmm. and he's great in it. And he's he's kind of like a side character too. But the way they directed it's pretty awesome. He seems to be one of the mains in the sequel. It, yeah, which is funny because, um, and Brolin actually talked about this in an interview. Was the way that the guy directed this and the way he wrote it. Same the guy wrote it, directed it, and. Um, He's like, you never, one of the main <clears throat> things you never ever do in film is you, you don't establish the main character and then make someone else the main character later on. Right. You never do that. Mm-hmm. And he, this guy's like, fuck it, I did it. And it works. Hmm. And it's, it, he's, I mean, it's really good, but up until then, I didn't. Do you know what movie did that that was really, uh, like, caught me off guard completely? What? Um, I think it was called 15 Minutes. With uh, De Niro? De Niro and, uh, and yeah. m- what's his name? Like Matt something? I don't God, who Something was... Burns. Oh, no. Ed Burns. Ed Burns. Yeah. Spoiler alert, even though that movie's old as fuck. Robert De Niro dies like fucking halfway through yeah. and he was the main character. He was the main character. I was, yeah, I, right. I was like, have they ever fucking done this in a movie? Yeah. Well, yeah. Remember? Um, that Feast movie. Oh, fuck Feast. <laughs> Who was the main character of Feast? <laughs> Remember the guy that they set up as the, uh, and, and don't let us ruin this film for you, please, please. Henry, please are you talking about Henry it. Rollins? 
<laughs> no, in his pink shorts. When no, the guy that came in, it's like really muscular and good looking and buff, and he's obviously the the typical. This is our hero. Remember, and then he fucking dies immediately. Like immediately. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it again to find out. We we need to watch that again. It was sure. so bad. I want to watch it again. Just, I mean, Jason Mewes is in it. Yeah, <laughs> but he dies instantly. How did I like the little weird alien appeared and all of a sudden Jason Mewes' face was gone? Like, yeah, <laughs> it was fucking weird. Anyway, we don't need to talk about that right, fucking right, movie. Very sorry, very sorry. Um, the way they handled the X Force, and we'll get into this later. <laughs> fucking loved it. I did too. I even loved the cameo. Yes. <laughs> that was so great. Me and Kara looked at each other like, was that? <laughs> it was. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then when I watched it the second time, I really focused, focused on yeah. it. And he, I mean, they obviously got him to do it because he does this whole. Yeah. This you know, <laughs> surprise look. And it was, oh, it was great. And I, I, I'm pretty sure I know why he did it. Because he was an early contender. That's right. He was. Oh, that's right. He yeah. was. And we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that yeah. in the spoilery sp- spot. Um it's funny because this movie had a bigger budget, but it doesn't really feel like it. No, it doesn't. It really um, doesn't. A little more CGI bec- yeah. because of one of the main fights, yeah. which I also thought was the the, the actual bad, bad, who ends up being the bad, bad guy. Well, mm-hmm. besides, I guess, how do I say this? There's another big bad guy that's yeah, in the X-Men. a CGI fight C- in action. Like but they Deadpool did him, calls it out. They even. did him complete justice. Oh, yeah. And unlike in the former film when he yeah. was. And I'm like, the dude's not anywhere near big enough. Oh, God, dude no. doesn't Although I do right. like that I guy. love him. I love that actor. Yeah. But I love that. That was great. Um, I feel like, <clears throat> wow, that's. Is it in the it's good. Part? It's good to, to cough. Yeah. On a podcast, um, Nega Sonic Teenage Warhead, which yeah, it's a ridiculous name. I feel like she got kind of shortchanged. She this movie. did very much because I like that character. I do too, and it pissed me off more the second viewing because I was like, yeah. I want, I wanted more of her. Yeah, like anybody that's a fan of her, like be ready to not see a lot of her. Um, when <laughs> when we watched the first movie uh, yesterday morning, uh, Kara's like. When she uses her power, it looks like she's taking a shit. Like she's really having shit. <laughs> Your wife is an interesting does. character. Yeah, that's true. But then you notice that too, and you're just like, you know what? It, she does look like she's taking mm-hmm. a shit. Really? I'm trying to think of some other things we could talk about that is are not in the not spoiler, spoiler realm. Um, I mean, if you like all like the jokes and the tone of the first one, you'll like this one. No problem. Oh yeah, no, I agree. It's just a little bit. It's like uh, it's like it's like if I gave the first one an eighty-five, for example, I would give this one like an eighty. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do. And I know exactly what you mean. But I also agree with you that there were too many of the same type of jokes in this one, which also work well. Yeah. But. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't funny, but it it's like when you hear like. A riff on the same joke yeah where you already kind of know the punchline going in yeah. but you still chuckle it's not like it's not funny I mean, but I it's did, not I did as laugh funny a lot in this movie oh I, yeah i did absolutely yeah i'm not saying it's not funny yeah 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 but yeah. brolin's great brolin's great reynolds is always great yep um, um even the little kid guy which yeah the little new zealand kid he's hilarious in another film which i saw with Takita, Takaki, t- t- oh Taka, yeah, his 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 other film, or what, where you find the wicker <clears throat> people or something like that shit. Okay, with Sam Neill, it's a very good film. Is it? And he, that kid's excellent in it. Sam Neill's excellent in it. You would really like the movie. I'll just check it out. Yeah, uh, but he's he's in that. Um, yeah, I pretty much liked everybody in the movie. Yeah, um, of like the new characters, obviously they they gave a lot of time to Cable. And Domino, in particular. Domino was great. Yeah. Like, she was great, and the way they set up the character was great. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, can we switch now? (laughs) Because it's too hard to talk about it? It it is, and I've been trying to... It's it's too much thinking for me. Okay, so we both like it, just not quite as much as Deadpool 1. Yes. Definitely go see it. 
Yeah, definitely. Go but see if it. you only have enough money for one ticket this, <laughs> this go summer, see go see Infinity War, I guess. <laughs> All right. At this point, we're to go to spoilers. So if you don't want to be spoiled, get the fuck out of here. I like that. I like it. You like that? Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Gives me a nervous boner. Oh. Yeah. Don't oh, look at it. Isn't that, yeah, that's, a t- that's what a TJ Miller <laughs> Don't look says. at it. It just makes it worse. Now, I called it with this whole X-Force thing, but I was only saying it Did about... Did you call it? Yeah. I Well, I can't remember if it was you I was talking to. It wasn't me. Uh, I was talking to somebody that was like that new guy, like the guy that's just a regular nobody, yeah. like no superpowers. I was like, I bet as soon as they jump out of the plane or whatever, he just fucking splats I and thought, he just I, dies. I thought, he, I thought that would happen with him. But I did. that's basically what they did with all of the x <laughs> like, <laughs> Which was great. Everybody died except for one fucking person, yeah. which is hilarious. <sighs> and, and, and and Deadpool's reaction to all of it happening was great too. <laughs> Every damn time. But he, it's like it's like he wasn't completely surprised at the same time. Like he knew they were lackey superheroes that mm-hmm. he had on his X Force team at the same yeah. time, you know? It's funny because it's almost it's a more elaborate version of the same joke from the first film when he forgot his ammo bag oh, in yeah. the cab. And it's like, oh, because he had all this, you know artillery and arsenal but you, read, you read why they did that right yeah because they didn't have any fucking money they had no money so they had to cut that hole out <laughs> <laughs> but i thought it was clever it was a good yeah. idea yeah. yeah um but i just think it's hilarious i was super excited for some of the people though i wanted to see how the like hell they terry gonna... cruz i was like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i love that they were doing all the trailers with you seeing them fight mm-hmm. which i thought was great you get to see all of them fight except for pennywise you couldn't see pennywise fight yeah and I wanted to see how in the fuck they were going to do it. I mean, because I'm thinking, okay, vomit acid, that could be useful for breaking into something. But mm-hmm. what, what else fuck? do you do? What else do you do with that guy? Yeah. But when I saw that there's a you know, vanisher, I was cracking up pretty hard about that. Mm-hmm. And then I kept wondering if this is actually going to be... The once I saw it actually jump out of the plane, I was like, okay, cool. It is somebody. Who's the cameo? Who is it? And then Brad Pitt. That just... Yeah. Oh, God, I loved it. Yeah. The vanisher... Opens his parachute and hits a telephone wire and is electrocuted and you see it's Brad Pitt. It's great. Which I know they probably did that because he was a contender to be cable and there was Which some I kind was of just conflict. As excited. Oh for. yeah. I thought he would have been great. Like I was literally fifty fifty on it because I thought Brolin looks like him more, but I thought Brad Pitt could bring something interesting mm-hmm. to it also. Um Yeah, so I was a little let down but also excited. It was a yeah. weird it was a weird thing. I'm glad he still got in there in some way oh yeah me too yeah <laughs> um i also think that whole bit was making fun of marvel because marvel is always so busy putting another character that sets up another movie in one of their movies that's true so they're like we're gonna introduce the x-force and fucking kill, kill them all <laughs> <laughs> i did like the thing they did at the uh at the uh, mansion though he's sitting there going where the fuck is everybody and then they shut the door to yeah. his right i thought that the, was great the the cast of the latest x-men movies made a cameo as quietly shutting a door so deadpool didn't notice them in the mansion <laughs> which is great because at the time he's just staying at the front door like where the fuck is everybody mm-hmm. what was um the little the asian gal's name it was like yukio oh, or something yeah, yukio. right i think it was yukio um Every time he interacted with her, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. She'd be like, hi, Wei. He's like, hi, Yukio. And he'd be real super happy about it. And he did like some weird spirit <laughs> fingers spirit one fingers time. You. Um, <laughs> Kara said, I feel like that's how Mike interacts with me. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, like Kara's just like so cute and like sweet. And you're just like, she is. Hi. Like you just she, she's you can't help sweetheart. but the smile and be like, Hi. Yeah. yeah, she's a big sweetheart. <laughs> she gets great hugs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I'm going to start calling her Yukio from now on. Yeah. Biggest spoiler, they kill Vanessa in the, like, before the opening credits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and did, Which, you like, did you like the opening credits after they did that? They're like, what the fuck? Did oh, you yeah. just kill her? And all yeah. this, That was great. Well, I also love that they did a James, James Bond, Bond style title sequence i did too yeah and they they brought back the the joke of the producers and whatnot yeah like having like ridiculous things written like yeah did they did they just kill her did you like how who the director was the guy who killed one of the guys who killed the dog and john wick yeah 
For how sweet my wife is, she is definitely moving around a lot she up is. there. She and is. I told her not to move. Yeah. Well, you, should, you know what you should do? You should get a gun and just start shooting holes through the floor above your head. No, that's not. I, would, I guarantee she wouldn't do it again. Then I'd have to patch a hole. <laughs> I like that you didn't go through first. I might hit my wife. Instead, you're just like, got to patch those holes first. I wouldn't hit her. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I was a, a little, I was a little. Were you bummed that they killed her? Uh, no, actually, I was okay with it. See, I think a lot of people liked her in the first one. Oh, I, oh, I thought she was great. Yeah. I thought she was great. I really did. And, oh. uh, but it's like, it's like the, the love interest and kids and action or horror films kill it for me. 90% of the time. It ruins the movie for me. Yeah. 90% of the time. Yeah. Um, but I, it's not that I wanted her to die, but I was okay with it. I think they needed, they were trying to give him some kind of motivation. Yeah. Well, the first something. one is how ugly he is. Second is he wants to kill himself off because he lost his girlfriend. Apparently, they a deleted scene is like a whole montage of him trying to kill himself in various ways. They stole that shit from Clawface and Gas Mask. And we stole it from Groundhog Day. Shh. <laughs> you don't bring that up, dude. Um, but, like, apparently, like, like it escalated in violence. Like, drinking Drano to jumping into the polar bear pit at the zoo. <laughs> Some of them are going to be really damn funny, I'm sure. Yeah. And this film is incredibly violent. Compared to the first one, I it would is. say. And it's also, I honestly felt like it was a little long. But I couldn't tell you exactly what I wanted cut out at the same time, if that makes any sense. Because I, I loved his long death scene. That was funny to me. <laughs> See, I was wondering if you'd like that or not. I knew what, I knew what he was going to I knew that's what they're going to do. It was kind of like a family guy running joke thing where it, it doesn't end. And they, they keep, like, whenever yeah. Peter would stub his toe or, like, hair his knee, and it was just that long. I never watched Family Guy. Oh. They, they would do a joke where he would, like, hit his knee or something, and he would just be sitting there going, ah. Ooh. And he would do that for a solid minute. And, and if you're watching an animated show, a minute is a long fucking time. I'm going to kill and myself. he just does that for a minute, and I'm like, okay, move, move along. Yeah. <laughs> But for some reason, it didn't bother me. Okay. And, I, and I honestly, the second time, the second time he, he's not dead yet, I thought, I'm going to get fucking irritated if they do it another time. Mm-hmm. But then they did it, and but they did it where it didn't bother me. So Okay. Surprisingly. I did love that they put in his X-Force costume in a very creative way. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. Which I like, the like the ash gray I do too. and black it looks X-Force cool. X-Force suit. Um, I love, I really love how the movie initially started with him basically talking a ton of shit about <laughs> Logan. Logan. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I can't believe that motherfucker had the balls to do another rated R film and ride on my coattails. Yeah. And he had that little music box. Yeah. That yeah. is essentially how he's dead at the end. How of the, Logan's yeah. dead at the, he has a fucking spike through him and it fucking spins around. <laughs> that motherfucker even died at the end. Well, you know what? I die in this one yeah, too. I die in this one too. <laughs> so he doesn't want to be one ups. Yes. I feel like um, one thing I definitely do appreciate about this one is they they went way more Deadpool in terms of him breaking the fourth wall and calling out things that are happening in like society or like, or are not excited, like with the real world, like calling out real people yeah, and are referring to cable as Thanos, uh, or saying that Cerebro smells like Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yeah. Like all these, like they did that way more this time around. And I actually really liked that. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Cause this bothered me in the second viewing. Mm-hmm. You know when Colossus is in the uh, in the X Men mansion, I always forget what that's called, and he's holding him against the wall, yelling at him about, and he's like, "You always make everything hard, Deadpool." Mm-hmm. And then Ryan Reynolds looks at the camera. Mm-hmm. Did you laugh? Meaning he makes everyone hard. Yeah. No one in the theater laughed. I chuckled. 
I chuckled. I don't think I don't, a lot of people got it. I don't think they got it. I, I think his look was a little too... A little too... Not, it, wasn't it, like, it wasn't exaggerated Yeah, it enough. wasn't exaggerated enough. And I'm like, damn it, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it's so subtle because it was like, it was too much of a softball for him to make a, it was. a verbal joke. So he was just like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So maybe it was almost perfect, but yeah. Um, God, uh, I mean, I liked a lot of shit. Uh, Brolin was great. Brolin looked great. I loved the whole fucking you know yeah. cyborg ish thing. They did really good with that. And I liked that they they totally did a shout out to Terminator with him standing in front of the mirror, staring at himself. And mm-hmm. you know, I was waiting for them to repair something, which they didn't do. Yeah, I would have almost liked him just to lean in and look at his glowing eye, just something, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it took me the second viewing to figure out that he was building that fucking gun. Yeah. I didn't, it didn't click the first time. Like, cause they just kind of show the bed and there's already holograms and stuff saying repairing. Yeah. Like repair I wish it would I wish I would have seen everything for us. Just give me a second where I just see all the guns and then the holograms come up and then saying repairing and then showing him what to pick. Mm-hmm. Cause it was already there and it confused the shit out of me the first time. The second viewing, I got it completely. Cause I'm mm-hmm. like, fuck. Okay. He built the weapon instead of, uh, it was a cool gun. I love that Deadpool constantly kept saying every time he saw somebody shoot that gun or he shot himself he's like it's like that, that's so fucking cool so cool yeah i love that um i like that they made jokes about his fanny pack oh yeah and that was that needed to be well it's funny because that's like a it's it's going back and making fun of the creator of cable because that guy um i can't remember his name right now he would always draw his characters with like shit loads of pockets <laughs> <laughs> in places to put shit um ah, i didn't know that i saw on twitter like they were like i drew the most i can't remember the guy's name whatever guy's type character ever and it was literally a dude that just had pockets all over his body <laughs> <laughs> you know what i uh, i wanted to see more of that fucking teddy bear I didn't. I only remember seeing it in like two total shots. It was always on his hip. But I just. I don't remember seeing it. That the weird thing is, even in, in two viewings, even when I saw it the first time when he was like walking with it, mm-hmm. and they do an up close shot on it, I'm like, "Fuck, did, has it been on there the whole time?" Because I don't remember seeing it, and I would look all the time. And even on the second viewing, I didn't see it again because I love. I love that that little token of his of his character. Yeah. Like I think that's really cool. A really good idea. Yeah. Um. Um, there's another cameo in this movie that I didn't realize happened because I, I went to the internet and just confirmed that I did actually see Brad Pitt. Yeah. Alan Tudyk is in this. Oh yeah. He's in the, he's the guy in the back of the truck. I, I saw had no immediately, idea. Immediately. Who was the guy next to him though? Cause he was no wearing clue. a bodysuit. No idea who that was. That was a fake ass beer belly. So okay. I want to know who the fuck that was. I, well, I meant to look that up. Somebody had tweeted at Ryan Reynolds, like talking about all the cameos in it. And he said, you guys are missing one. Everyone has. It's a big one. See, I wonder no if that's. Idea. I wonder if that's who that that is because he's mm. in that suit. Was that Sabretooth in the prison, with the long blonde ish looking dread things, and he had like fanged teeth? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. They didn't explicitly say anything. I wonder if I'd they... be. What? I'd be surprised if it was. So I feel like if if it was, they would have made a joke about it, or we'd have seen other familiar. That was my people. I thought that too. I, I was actually I was like waiting to see like nods to other characters. I was too because I thought it would work in perfectly if they did the next X Force film that they've got whatever major issue is okay that they're dealing with for the for the film, but also everyone that that they kept releasing off mm-hmm. that cable kept dropping off the fucking truck would have been all these other x-men villains or whatever yeah. else that would be now released and i mm-hmm. thought that would be cool that they could play with that but i didn't see anybody yeah i had to look up that black tom dude or whatever which that shit was funny that was when funny. he kept calling him racist and everything else yeah. the whole time that cracked me up i don't know much but i know he was african-american <laughs> yeah. just a white guy <laughs> <laughs> the cable's like i'm not a fucking racist <laughs> now if the whole disney fox buyout thing happens which yeah. there is some question like it's being reviewed by the fcc and all that fun jazz and apparently comcast is thinking about trying to swoop in and offer more money um if disney does get those assets though this this movie 
I'd say even more so than the first one displays how you can treat a character like Deadpool and still have them be part of your universe. Agreed. Yeah. Because they showed the X Men. They have you know a couple like the first movie. They had a couple crossover characters like Colossus and Negasonic Teenage War. Negasonic Teenage names too fucking yeah. long. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> And like in the first Deadpool, Colossus was just the Boy Scout and this, that, the other. And in this movie, he kind of like said, okay, yeah, I see. Sometimes you have to fight dirty. Yeah. He shoved that fucking wire up <laughs> Juggernaut's ass. Yes. Jug- Juggernaut is the secret <laughs> yeah. like villain that I hadn't, nobody knew was nope. in this fucking movie. And he's done and He's excellent. fucking huge. He's huge. He's done exactly the way I would expect him to be. Even from yeah. watching the cartoons from the old X-Men cartoons, which I mm-hmm. love that shit. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, great. He looks great. He's sounding great. He's nearly impossible to beat. I love that. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Brolin's great. Domino was done very, 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 very well. Yeah. It's like, even when you, like, something, like, didn't seem like it was going to be in her favor, yeah. something else happened. And I love that they would show. That would be, would like, sh- unrelated, yeah. kind of. Like, when she was, should have got shot by Cable is when... Deadpool happens to come into the scene. Yeah. It's like, oh, luck is your power. That's that's almost as good as being Deadpool and not being able to die. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, if you're always lucky, something bad's going to happen. By the way, I thought that was a smart idea, the way that they used those that turned off their mutant abilities. Mm-hmm. But I also like that he did a shout out to the first film. <laughs> like, this would have been great if they did this in the first series. Yeah. The first, <laughs> the first, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's true. That was clever. Thought it, you know, bringing back his cancer immediately made a lot of, yeah, it was, yeah, it worked. Mm hmm. Except for Fire Fist. Fire Fist. (laughs) Yeah. His abilities weren't, I mean, is it that, is he he that devastatingly terrifying to, I don't see it, man. He lost a lot of weight in the future. He did. He gets really tall and, you know, he still had kind of the swoopy hair. Yeah. Um, What did you think about, Essentially, the um, I'm going to call them afterlife scenes when he kind of visits Vanessa. Yeah, um, I could have done with one of those and not the rest of those. But I know that they had to do it. They had to do it at least twice so you understood what it was. Right. They had to do and it at least twice. When, because the first time when he can't get to her. Yeah, like thematically, like it, it's a cool idea. Does it work in a Deadpool movie necessarily? I didn't think it did. It it no. took me straight out of a Deadpool. I was like, film. this this seems a little more artsy. Yeah, than what this should be, because that barrier is like, okay, so he's yeah, he's not dead. She's dead. I get it. Yeah, and then in the end, like they're able, he's able to go to her and like, oh, he's dead. Yeah, but then Cable, I kind of felt like turns they, back time. They need to do the editing. To show that she says it's not time yet Mm -hmm. before they show Cable make the switch and change. So it doesn't look like he changed. It's almost like he made the change, then she felt the change, which also does work. I'm not going to lie, but I almost want it to be if that's the final destination of the of all. Right. If, Mm -hmm. If there's a heaven like they were saying, like, you know, whether you a God, heaven or whatever the hell else, whatever makes you happy. That she would have known that that's not the the time yeah. already before that anyway. But anyway, whatever. I'm just nitpicking there. Yeah. Which I guess we didn't really talk about like the plot because I assume most people like the trailer tells it pretty well. Cable's going after the kid. The reason why he's going after the kid because Cable's from the future. That kid grows up and eventually kills his family. Yeah. And Cable is going back in time to stop that. And his wrists. Time machine only has enough juice to do two time jumps. <laughs> Which Deadpool says that's lazy writing. Yeah. Yeah, he calls that lazy writing a couple times in the movie. Did you like the the way that they did the shout out to how fucking terrible it is that you've got those places that are trying to correctional the gay out of you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that was great. That oh, yeah. they're not fucking bad people or mutants or whatever. I mean, it's completely exactly the same. Oh, yeah. I love that they did that. I'm surprised there wasn't a uh, Mike Pence joke in there. Yeah. God, the Jared Kirshner one was oh, great. The Jared God, was great. man, that was great. Um, but yeah, then of course, Cable uses his last charge to undo yeah, and save. Deadpool's death and save him. 
I do like that they keep playing up the fact that Deadpool is kind of... Uh, I don't know what the proper like term for that is, but like he's game to fuck anybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> him with Colossus, Colossus was hilarious. Yeah. I love that the last thing Vanessa says before... Is don't, don't fuck Before him. he goes, he comes back to life, is don't fuck Colossus. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> All right. Um, best for last, I'd say. Let's talk about the credits. Scenes. Oh, God. So good. It's so the best. since I had just called out the fact that Cable had that time machine thing and it broke after two uses, they show Negasonic, teenage, long name, and Yukio. I don't know if that, I, I let's just call I her feel Yukio. bad if that's not the character's name because then it just sounds like I'm making up some no I, I culturally it, uh, it, appropriate it is, name it is something like for somebody it is something like Yukio um, like it is they they fixed it and they gave it back to Deadpool and they immediately were like oh fuck what have we done yeah <laughs> and then it proceeds to show everything that Deadpool goes back in time. <laughs> To either cor- to to correct to correct or fix the timeline yeah. or yeah so oh, yeah. so good he undoes Vanessa's death yeah by sharpening the cream cheese knife <laughs> and killing the guy before he's able to shoot Vanessa so she comes back yeah Kara actually thought that Cable it, was gonna take everything back in time all the way all the way back there Shit. and I was like yeah that could have done that but it wouldn't make as much sense right and i don't because think i don't think the Cable kid done, yeah because he have to go back to that point because that's when the kid changed his yeah his motivation like he was no longer to become a killer at that point yeah and um, deadpool had to go to the prison and then deadpool had to do all that yep, shit had so to he meet could, the kid all that fun stuff. yeah um you go you go with the next one <laughs> <laughs> then that's a hold on let me, let me remember the order so uh and fixes her and then, then he goes to uh the x-force part oh yeah because like the fucking x-force to which save. they only show him save one of the people yeah what which is i guess yeah which means he does everyone else still dies i would as well especially because like because he was the, trying to save vomit I mean, you yeah know, he was trying to save that guy Star-Star, from getting yeah. vomited on uh the regular guy you just go away. Just go. He's he's like, like, but we're X Force, like, right? He's like, yeah, but it is kind of dangerous. So yeah, yeah it's just no. You just, you just go away. <laughs> and then uh, next, I think was the best, the absolute best. Oh God! All of the ending was great too. When I when I saw that he pop popped, I li- in my mind I go, please for the love of God, show him go back and fix mm-hmm. the shitty Deadpool, please. And yeah. Then, when I saw it, I was so happy. I could almost, I started laughing immediately. I had to like keep my eyeballs open so mm-hmm. I could watch to see how they were doing it. And a little bit, a little bit of what I was kind of hoping they got Hugh Jackman to at least, at least re say something, but it's totally just the, yeah, thanks just for the, the reaction film. shots. But yeah. I love that. I love that when he shoots him, that he's like, just, just fixing, um, not, not the, not the timeline, the, um, Cannon, just fixing cannon or whatever, or correcting yeah. cannon, and he's like pop, 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 pop. He just, he just, just kept shooting, shooting him. Yeah. the Deadpool from <laughs> so Wolverine Origins movie. <laughs> so so <great>. good, that <laughs> so fucking good. And then finally, which uh, Warner Brothers like tweeted at Ryan Reynolds after Did this. What they say? And they it was like something, and they were asking for their fucking ring back. <laughs> So they show Ryan Reynolds like at his desk looking at a script. He's like, oh, finally the big time. And you see the the title on the script is Green Lantern. And Deadpool just shoots him in the fucking head. He's like, you're welcome, Canada. Oh, so good. I'm glad you told me that was the last one because there were definitely still people hanging around. I, I hung out to the bitter end because no yeah. one was leaving the first time we saw it. Yeah. And I kept thinking maybe. Yeah. So. But God, man, those, those so are the, good. those are the, I mean, I, now if you do another film ever, how do you ever best that? I want them to quit doing it. I'm not going to lie. If you're going to do one, do a quick one, fade to black, show this was Deadpool, then maybe come right back in and give me something. Mm-hmm. And then just let us fucking go, man. Yeah. Although it's kind of nice for the people that worked on the movie, although I don't look at their names. You don't look at their names. No one fucking ever does. It's dumb as shit. I have friends that do though. 
they're trying to look for like their own last name. I'm like, well, why does that matter? <laughs> but you think you're related so you can say you were part of the movie? That's dumb as shit. Sometimes you might see your own name up there and you're like, hey. You're, you're never going to see my last name up there. No? No. There's only there's like, any, there's like 15 any or 10 of us or some shit. in California? No. No. <laughs> I think they're all in West Virginia. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, really. Never. Not unless you and I do something. No. You know, when we get our big uh, oh. $80 million budget. I thought, you I thought, thought you it was going about, porn? No, I thought you were going like West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That concludes the reviews. Uh, you got anything going on? Uh, I'm almost done working on this freelance. Should yeah. be done this current week. So you'll be able to get back to like writing. Full time writing. Yes. Nice. So I can be told that, you know, I do animal. Will you stop doing that? Porn. You say animal porn? Animal porn. What was it? No, it was was it violent porn? Was it? Oh, oh, your fucking review. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's two now. Oh, there's another rando. Yeah, there's another rando. What did they give you? Uh, not good. <laughs> <laughs> Second one said. Uh, that they can't not unread what they read, and it bothers them. And I, uh, the second the, the second half of the book uh, looks like it was written with one hand or something. What the fuck does that even mean? I, I think they were trying to say there's a bunch of uh, shit that to correct, which I'm not going to lie. I, I went through and edited the book like five times and said, fuck it, I'm not doing this shit again. Just did it. I thought this was kind of like sounding like you're jerking off to your own writing. Yeah, maybe. Without lotion. Yeah. That first review was great, though. First I reviews. loved it. Yeah. It was uh, cruelty to animals and torture porn. Oh, torture porn. I See, I did the animal from yeah. the first, porn in the second, animal porn. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. How about <laughs> you? <laughs> I need to get back to writing my animal porn second book. Yeah. Please stop saying animal porn. <laughs> um, I don't have anything going on. I need to get something going on. You it's do. it's been a busy couple weeks, but one of these days I'll do something worth talking about. Oh, we'll shoot another episode of Cloudless and Gas now. Yeah, yeah. We did get another subscriber on YouTube. Did we? Yeah, we have forty one now. Fuck yeah, fucking man! Big we time, bro. Fucking big time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go watch the film. Yeah, definitely. Unless you only have money for one ticket, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, <clears throat> until next time, we're bored in Ohio. penetration no i was gonna do it but you say do it too much penetrate (laughs) next time until next time no it's already you already did i'm gonna use that first take